Hey YouTube, this is Chris again with another one of Tim and Chris's how-to videos. So today I'm going to be showing you how to change the hair color. In this case, we're going to change it from red to black to brown to blonde. And this is really fun to do, and it's really not that hard. So, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these so we can start fresh here. And with our background uh, layer, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new layer with this little paper icon here. And then we're gonna group that layer. Uh, Control G or Command G, I believe, on a Mac. Uh, we're gonna name this group black. It's gonna do black hair. And with this layer selected, we're gonna go to our adjustment layer, our and it's the uh, circle icon here. We're gonna click on hue and saturation. <clears throat> now we're gonna target the hair here and we can s see that the hair is red. So we're gonna target the reds. Um, and if you click on this uh, bar here, it says master, we're gonna click on reds. So it's just gonna target these reds. We're gonna go even further than that. We're gonna click on this eyedropper tool here and you'll see the slider bar move. And we're gonna click on um, the red hair you see the slider bar move. Click somewhere else, you can see the slider bar moving. So we're just going to click on the red hair, and the slider bar will move to target, um, even further uh, target that area, or that color rather. Now if you see that it's leaving some parts out, you can always click this plus eyedropper tool here, and click on that, and I'll show you that a little bit later. So now that we have the reds here, all you need to do is move these sliders around to get the desired effect. And I know it's it's uh, changing the whole image right now, but I'm going to take care of that. So I actually have some presets here that I'm going to use, and you can use these if you'd like um, to kind of get you in the range here. And I know this one's all the way over, and just to make the tutorial go a little bit faster here. And one more, and so that looks good. Now you can see what I'm talking about here. It looks like um, there's a little more green, I guess, instead of black. So we'll click on that plus, and it corrects all that for us. So that's a good look for black. We're going to use that. Now I know that the picture doesn't look right anymore because it kind of desaturated everything. But we're going to take care of that right now with a layer mask. So what we're going to do with the this hue and saturation layer highlighted, we're going to click on this uh, rectangle with a circle, and it's going to create a layer mask. Now with this layer mask, you can see that the background here is white, and so we need a black foreground. Then we're going to grab our brush tool, and I'm going to choose a soft brush here. And a flow, I'm going to use about 80% or so. I'm just going to drag that up. And I'm going to increase my brush size using the bracket keys on my keyboard. And I'm just going to start painting over her face here. Now, I'm going to avoid directly on her hairline because I'm going to feather that in a little bit more using um, a little less of the flow. So it will blend in a little, a little better. And you can see that um, in just a second. And the good thing is, is we only have to do this one time. This uh, layer mask. We only have to do this one time. We're going to do um, all three colors. We're going to change it from red to black to brown and to blonde. So we're only going to have to do this layer mask one time. And I'm going to show you a cool trick. Uh so that you only have to, you can apply this to the other layers as well. So just bear with me here. And if you get any uh, of this layer mask on your hair, on the hair, like for example, maybe I paint there, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that too, so you don't have to worry about that. So I'm just following the hair, the hairline here. And I'm just painting right over, and you can tell over here, um, if you've missed anything or not, it'll be a little white space and you want all that to be black. Now you can tell here that there's some skin, so I'm going to 
decrease my brush size and I painted it. it's gonna look a little weird right now but I'm gonna correct that with a layer mask we just want to get some of the uh, color back in there and about right here too and down here I'm gonna increase my brush size and believe it or not this is actually the hardest part and it's actually not that hard it's just you know the more time-consuming uh, part of this uh, tutorial all right that looks pretty good so we're gonna take care of this part right here and we're going to leave our brush size there we're just gonna change the flow from to about 20 percent or so it doesn't have to be exact and we're gonna change our foreground from black to white by tapping on the X key on the keyboard and we're gonna paint the black color back basically what we're doing but we're just using that because it's a pretty soft brush now in zooming in I want to move this picture around so I'm gonna hold the uh, excuse me the spacebar key on my keyboard and drag it around so I can see what I'm doing and we're just gonna paint right back on the hair just like that to bring that back there's some up here and there's some over here on this side we're just gonna paint that right back on and like I said you only have to do this one time and once this is done the hard part is over okay so we want to take care of the eyebrows since we already have the white uh, foreground we're gonna make our brush size a little smaller we're gonna keep the flow about 20 percent we're just gonna paint the eyebrows and the more you paint the darker it'll be a matter of fact I think that's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to change the flow to about maybe 10, 11, and I'm going to repaint. That looks pretty good. A little more here. Okay, so now we're going to take care of this hairline right here with the flow to about, well, that's good. We'll just leave it there. We're going to tap the X key again to change the foreground to black, and we're going to increase our brush size using the bracket keys. And we're just going to go right around our hairline here. And it's just going to fare it in and bring some of the color into it. Give me a second here. Let's just take care of this. And I can see a little bit by her ear. We'll take care of that as well. And the more you go over it, the darker it'll get with your flow. Um, down so low. So we're just going to go over the hairline a little bit here on this side and by her cheek. We'll zoom out a little bit and that looks pretty good. Now the hard part's over. We only have to do this one time, like I said. I see a little bit by her hair here. Oops, let me tap X on the keyboard. And we'll just paint that in and we'll paint this right here. All right, that looks pretty good. So now we have the black hair. We want to add some highlights to it. Now with the black hair, we have um, brown highlights. So we're going to put some brown highlights in. And the way we're going to do that is we're, go we're going to make a new layer. And we're going to go to our color picker here. And we're just going to pick some browns. You know, just some light brown. That's all right. We'll just use that. And we'll bring our flow up to about 50%. And that looks good. And we'll just increase our brush size, again, using our bracket keys. And we're just going to paint right over the hair. And I know this looks weird right now. But don't worry. It'll, we're going we're gonna to blend it in. No worries. So we're just going to paint over the hair. And it doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't have to be, you know, every strand of hair. We're just going to get the majority of it. Because it's only going to pick up the highlights anyway. Okay, that looks pretty good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change the blending mode from normal to overlay. And you can see that's already changed it. Now what we're going to do to... to bring the highlights even further is we're going to double click in on this layer we're going to double click in a blank area and it'll bring up the layer style 
And under here, under underlying, underlying layer, we're going to hold our Alt key because we need to separate these two. Because if we move it, it just moves as one. We need to separate them. So we're going to hold our Alt key, left click, and drag this. Drag this all the way, almost all the way down. You can see on the picture the highlight change. And we're going to drag this down a little more too. And you don't want anything like you want it to be look pretty natural. So you just want a little bit of highlight, not much. And a little bit more. That looks pretty good. So we'll click OK. And then one more step just to enhance this image just a bit more. We're going to add some curves to it. So to Adjustment Layer, Curves. And we're just going to bring this down just a little bit. Now you don't want to bring it down too much because then you're going to distort the image and you won't be able to see any of the texture in the hair. So we're going to bring it down just a, just a hair, no pun intended. Uh, just so it looks, it makes it a little bit darker. And that looks pretty good. Alright, so now we've gone from uh, red hair to black. Now we're going to go from red, now we're going to change it to uh, brown. So, same thing applies. We're going to make a new layer, and we're going to group that layer. Control G to group the layer. Click on the layer here. And we're going to go to Hue and Saturation. And like I said before, I have my presets. So we're going to do all the same steps. Click on Reds. We're going to grab our eyedropper. Target the red hair there. And like I said, I have some presets. So I'm going to just plug those in. That stays at 0. This is uh, minus 53. And this one is minus 50. And that looks pretty good, um, brown. And you can see we can do a little plus here to make sure that that area is taken care of like it was on the last one. All right. So now that we have that, of course, we're not going to have to go and do the whole layer mask thing again because I told you that there was a little trick. And the trick is that on the black layer that we did, or the black color that we did, we're going to click on our layer mask to highlight it. Click on the actual layer mask, not on any of these other ones. Click on the layer mask. Hold your Alt key down. Left click, hold, and drag it up to the new hue and saturation. And it makes a copy of it. So like I said, you only have to do that one time. Well, this now goes pretty fast. So what we do is we click, click on the hue and saturation layer. And we're going to make a new layer because it will make a layer above it. And this layer we're going to paint again on the hair to do the highlights. In this case, this time we're going to use white. And we're just going to go from the blending mode from normal to overlay right now. Blending mode, uh, the flow rather, about 50%. And we're just going to paint the hair again. And this is, like I said, it's going to go real fast now. The hardest part was the layer mask. And now it's just going to go pretty fast. We're just going to highlight the hair. Okay, and we're doing brown hair right now. So it looks pretty good. And then again, like before, we're going to double click here to bring up our layer style. And again, holding Alt, we're going to go, go to the underlying layer. Holding Alt and dragging this first slider down uh, almost all the way. Because you just want a tinge of the highlights, and that actually looks pretty good. Maybe we'll bring this down just a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. And again, we'll go with the curves. Click on curves and bring it down just a little bit, just to give it a little more depth. And we'll just name this brown. All right, so that's our brown hair. So now we've gone from red to black and from red to brown. Let's now do our blonde and then we'll be done. We're going to click on a new layer, and we're going to group that layer, and we're going to blonde. So with this layer selected, we're going to go to Hue and Saturation, and it gets easier as you do this. We're going to target the reds, click our eyedropper, click on the reds, 
and again I have presets that I'm going to use just to save time and I have let's see 24 need to go to 24 and then we have four just move it up and uh, 80 All right, <clears throat> and that looks pretty good. And again, like you see this area right here, how it's not, um, it still has some of that red to it. We're just gonna hit our plus, and it takes care of that right quick. All right, so that's a good setting there for blonde. And we're gonna grab our layer mask, like we did last time, from our brown color. And we're gonna hold, click on the layer mask, hold Alt, left click and drag up to our hue and saturation and there's the color now again we're gonna go to we're gonna make a new layer because we're gonna put some highlights again change the mode to overlay and we're also gonna paint white on her hair here so we're just gonna do that now paint some nice highlights And like I said before, you don't have to cover every strand of hair. And we're almost done with this tutorial. And then you'll know how to change hair color, any color you'd like. All right, once that's done, we have it on overlay. And we're going to double click on the empty space again to bring up the layer style. Holding Alt, we're going to separate these two and drag this almost all the way down. And we're going to drag this just to where it looks natural and that looks pretty good. And again, just to add a little more to it, we're going to go to curves and draw it down just a little bit more to make it pop. All right, so there we have it. We went from red to black. Sorry, my computer's uh, acting a little crazy right now. To brown and to blonde. Well, I hope this video has helped you. Please like this video. Please subscribe and comment if you like. Thanks for watching.